questions, go right ahead and raise your hand. Fred. Hey, Brad. Uh, the last however many games you guys have kind of gotten off to slow starts and today was the total opposite. Why, why do you think you guys were, were so different in that first quarter? Uh, first praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, I think it was just we were just locked in, you know, from the practice we had yesterday and coming in today. Uh, you know, we we knew who we were playing. We knew what was at stake. You know, it was, you know, we can come out lack of days ago and we can be down 30 early or, you know, we can be ready to go and, you know, battle from the jump. So we just, uh, <clears throat> we came out and played our game. We, we came out and everybody stuck to, stuck to the roles and competed at a high level, accepted the challenges on the defensive end from Jalen, from Jason and Kimba. And, you know, we, we, we tried to make it as tough as we possibly could. And we, and we did that. Ava. Brad, um, going off of what you said, what does this type of win do for your guys' confidence where it came from the defensive end and it came after a big day where you're like, okay, we had the chance to work on this in practice and we were able to go out and execute exactly what we wanted to do. It's, it's a be a boost, a hundred percent. But, you know, on the, on the other side, you know, we still didn't do a lot of things perfect. You know, a lot of things we, we were messing up on the fly, but I think our effort is what saved us. You know, we, we had multiple efforts from everybody, uh, everybody being locked into the game. And, you know, it wasn't one man just, you know, being out of out of uh, out of sync. So it was that's what we need. You know, we, we kind of showed our hand of, of what we're capable of doing. And, you know, now, like I've been saying the last couple of games, just consistency. We got to build on, that. you know, we got to be definitely excited about getting the win against a great team. But, you know, we got another one coming in tomorrow that we got to get we got to get some get back on. Jeff. Hey, Brad, this is really a big question, uh, Janet. What does it mean to you to be the face of this franchise, and, and what responsibility do you think you carry? Uh, I mean, it's a blessing because you don't take it for granted. You understand that there's only 450 guys in the NBA, and there's only 30 teams, and, you know, every team has, you know, a quote-unquote star or, or, you know, superstar on their team, and, the franchise guy and for me to you know for the wizards to entrust me with that you know that's a that's an honorable position um you know one that i don't take for granted you know i don't take lightly and you know i kind of i put a lot more pressure on myself than probably what comes with the with the job i guess you know we're still players you know we're still yeah we're a cornerstone of our organization but you know at the same time we have high expectations for ourselves as franchise guys and i definitely do here in dc uh, I've been here for nine years, and so, you know, I just try to give it my all every time I step onto the floor. Uh, I believe I became a, be a, a better leader. I'm not probably the greatest one yet, but, you know, I'm, I'm definitely working my way towards it. Uh, but, you know, I'm definitely happy that the organization entrusts me, you know, to be able to lead them, to be able to grow our young players, and to be a representation of them on and off the floor. Chase? Hey, Brad, what was different about the three-point defense in particular today? Uh, I think we just tried to we, – we contested. You know, I think uh, one of our coaches told us the other day – Brooks really drilled us on it. Like, uh, we, we have to be better at contesting. You know, we have to get – you know, us being in, in the vicinity of guys isn't good enough. You know, we have to be able to get hands up and alter shots to make guys miss. Um, and I think we, we kind of did that tonight. Granted, we a lot of them got some open ones. On the pick and roll, they were able to hit a few, which we 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 got to make better adjustments on. But uh, I think for the most part, we we made them miss. You know, we got good hands out, good contests. You know, we rotated well, flying around, and you know, when you see guys like that, we're energetic, we're flying. It makes it tough for them to make plays. And then, how did you guys hold uh, Jason Tatum to only six points today? Oh no, uh, I, I I really don't know. It was just one of those nights for him. You know, we all have them. Hell, I had one last week. Uh, you know, it happens. You know, he's still a star. He's still a great player in this league. Uh, he let us off the hook for sure. Uh, he should have been, should have stayed in attack mode and stayed, in, in, stayed aggressive. Uh, but I think him being in foul trouble early on kind of hurt, hurt him, hurt his rhythm. And, uh, and, you know, we just tried to make it as difficult as possible, which is a tough guard. Zach. 
Hey, Brad, uh, Coach Brooks earlier said that this was one of Rui's best games of the season. Um, but what kind of development or, or improvement have you seen from him, especially on defense? Uh, just the game is starting to slow down for him. You know, as as you play more games, I don't even think Rui's played a full, full season yet. But as you play more games, like the game begins to slow down for you. Uh, your reads, and then we'll play teams multiple times. So you you know what to expect. You know guys' and tendencies. And Rui knows that he's a guy, he said it himself yesterday, he can guard one through five, you know. And so we hold him to that standard. We hold him to that, you know, to their role. And I think he definitely accepts it. He accepted it tonight. And every single time he's he's in a switching situation, he gets in the stands and, you know, he guards his tail off and he rebounds the ball too. So uh he's he's growing tremendously you know the sky's the limit for him i think what's the beauty of is so versatile uh, on both hands he can shoot threes he can give you mid-range post post up finish at the rim above the rim so uh you know he's a three-level scorer for us and we're happy that you know the sky's the limit for him and he has a lot of room to grow thank you Winston. Hey, Brad, I'm sure you're definitely refreshed after having the night off the other night. But um, I know that coming into tomorrow, uh, it's going to be a big night, um, an emotional night. Uh, do you expect any uh, do you expect emotions to be high uh, tomorrow night? Uh, yes, and no. I mean, it'll be emotional for John and myself, too, for him to be back in the building. But, you know, we're I mean, it's the Wizards versus Houston. You know, we're, we're past that. And, you know, it'll be I think it'll be different with fans in the building, you know, for for them to be able to show their love to John, you know, we don't have that. So I don't know if that, that same hype and emotion will be there. Uh, he'll definitely be passionate and, and come in and, you know, talk his trash and want to try to get a win uh, like John, like the John we know. But, you know, we got to be better than the first time we played him. Uh, and I think we will be. Rich. Um, Brad, what did the um, what did the night off do to you? Did you really feel refreshed today? I really did. Uh, you know, it was it was a mental unwind and physical unwind. My body was a little beat up, uh, but it was just good to be able to get away away from the game for a minute and uh, you know be with wifey, be with my boys, and uh, and just kind of just unwind a little bit. You know, it's always good. Uh, I put so much pressure on myself to do well and. You know, to try to lead and be the best I can possibly be, try to come out and win every game and just need a little break. You know, you can't do everything by yourself. You can't do everything, you know. So I think just taking that step back and realizing what we have, trusting your teammates. And then our practice yesterday was was probably the icing on the cake. So uh, it's good that everything is coming together, but consistency is the key. And last question to Kellen. Hey, Brad, another 30 plus point game for you. And I asked Coach Brooks earlier, just, you know, what he felt like you've improved on. And I'm paraphrasing here, but he mentioned your mental toughness, your leadership, and that the game has been slowing down for you. I guess, what do you feel like you've improved on the most this year? And when you're saying slowing down, like you mentioned for Rui, you know, is it is that just becoming more familiar with everything? For sure. You know, it's being, you know, more familiar uh, you know, you do the same things over and over again. A lot of teams plays end up being the same. You know, we we play similar styles, you know, in this league, and it's kind of a copycat league. We say all the time. Uh, but for Rui, it's, you know, when the game slows down, it's just a mental thing. You know, you're, you're more confident in your game. You know, you're able to make reads before plays happen. And for me, it, I feel like that's – it's really my confidence level, you know, just believing in myself. Uh, you know, just constantly believing and trusting my work that I put in. And uh, and then we have a guy who pushes us every night. Like, Russ pushes me. He pushes everybody to be ready to go. And I think that's something that I've definitely channeled this year is just making sure that I'm, I'm ready to compete on a nightly basis. You know, no nights off, going at it, going hard each and every night, no matter if I'm feeling good, feeling bad, playing good, playing bad. You know, you have to be the leader. You have to be able to showcase that, you know, when times are good, you're, you're still rolling. If times are bad, you're rolling. But, you know, don't get too high, don't get too low. Thank you. Hey.